three, two, one. Hey! Hello everybody, how are we all doing? I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to the first official Vlogmas video of 2020. Holy moly, you know what that means. It's Christmas! <laughs> They're gonna help me. Cue the Vlogmas intro. The time has come, if you saw the vlog of myself and Zara giving the living room a bit of a festive touch before the big reveal of the Christmas tree, then you will know that we have a eight foot Christmas tree that we sourced from a place called New Covent Garden Market in Battersea, London, and it's... It's a big un. It's a big un. It's very nice, it's currently on our balcony, just in a pot of water. I love this, this is my favorite thing to do. I look forward to it every single year, and it's just a good time, isn't it? It's the best time. We it are already in our so festive funny. jumpers. Zara's in hers. There we go. We do also need a festive switch in the form of some headwear. So we're ready. Three, two, one. Hey, we are officially Christmas reindeer. Oh my gosh. Your yeah. sparkle. Oh my god, they are so cool. I it's bring probably... sparkle everywhere I go. I'm going to annoy everyone with the audio. Right. Yeah. What we need to do is um, create a space in the corner of our Christmas space corner. And... In the tree. I'm actually so excited, honestly. We had a bit of a mishap last year. We're going to be professionals this year. I'm ready. Let's go. Things never change. What goes up must come down. That's what they say. Stop it. Right, your hands are getting in the way here. Can you breathe in? I, I rub my hips. I'm born. It's not bone, it's squidging. <laughs> right, oh. Should I take my jeans off? No! We'll keep them on. No, no, no. I think that's the issue. It'll give us a what? bit of extra. No, no, no. Hang on, better yet, better yet, we'll come up, we'll come up. You broke your jeans. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh no! Oh. We've got rippage. Are these nice jeans? Come on! I'm starting to get claustrophobic. <laughs> Look at him. No, I'm starting to panic He's now. <laughs> we might have to <laughs> cut it. Help! He ripped his jeans. Let him start to panic. I've got it! 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 Oh! You ripped your jeans. And never fool me again Last Christmas I gave you my heart But the very next day Zara gave it away Yeah Right, we've got our tree in our balcony So we're going to go bring it in now And then um, it's all systems go from here Holy moly I'm going to close this door Oh, it's a big and Oh my god, it's literally That's Perfect So the tree is in. Look at that. It's basically got, I don't know how we do it. We seem to manage it every year. Just enough for the tree topper on top. Like I say, this was from New Covent Garden and it was um, 43 pounds, which is brilliant. And obviously we had the tree skirt from last year. That was from home base, right? Now it's time to pop the lights on. My least favorite part, but has to be done. <laughs> Zara's just 
done one layer of the lights and these are incredible. They're from a store that actually I don't think no longer a store, it's just online or I might have stopped completely from Maplin. But the second set are about to go on. But Zara's kindly reminded us that you've got to, you've got to close your eyes ever so slightly and see where the gaps are. Here, 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 here and here. So we'll make sure with the second set, which are here. Yeah, of course. So this is kind of like the remains of what we have in terms of decor for the tree. So this is our tree topper. I know a lot of people do struggle to find tree toppers. This one is from John Lewis and it's like a natural gold, like wicker kind of one. It was, I think, £12 last year. It's still for sale because a couple of people got this year. So I'll leave that in the description box if you guys want to check that out. We've got lots of like delicate baubles, like glass ones that are wrapped up from last year. Lots of pine cones as well that I think will look lovely if we stuff them in. We're just going to pick out our favourites and then... Pop them on the tree. So we have picked out all of the colors that we're gonna go for this year. So many of these are from three to four years ago from different parts of the world. Um, different Christmas trips that we've both been on. They're just absolutely gorgeous and we love them. And we love the memories associated with them as well. So, But these ones were just from John Lewis last year. So we're going to put those on first and then finish with the nice, pretty ones. Here's a station you might like. Christmas music on Amazon Music. <laughs> the night before Christmas I was closing down for business in my little prison shop guys the inevitable has happened we've just put the tree topper on and <laughs> touching the roof we've got really high ceilings in here so i don't know how that's happened but i said to zara that it's going to annoy me that it's ever so slightly off so i'm only going to take like the smallest fraction of the top off just to make it sit ever so better and then that'll be jobs done right round two and we are going to a lot of people do say as well about real trees on carpet, it's a bit of a nightmare. And if you use this, which is a hard brush, and kind of just give the tops of the carpet a good clean, if you get that up with a um, dustpan and brush, you're pretty much spotless. Just one quick run around with the hoover, and you're good to go. Okay, so we're all wrapped up, the tree is done. We're gonna go for a bit of a mid-afternoon walk, and we've got some hot chocolates in hand, because obviously like coffee shops and stuff, I don't think are open in the area. And we're gonna go foraging, because Zara found this thing on Pinterest, which is, like a stick Christmas tree. So we're gonna see if we can get some sticks and some string and make some kind of like Scandinavian style stick Christmas tree, if we can. I mean, this is a little bit ridiculous. We live in London and we're putting wellies on. Any excuse, guys? <laughs> and then time almost came to the start. So we are in the woods just near us and we're trying to get some twigs. We've got two so far, but we need to try and find some like large substantial ones for the base of the tree. We'll find something, I'm sure. It's nice that there's little green parts like this in London. It's always lovely. And the lights are starting to go as well, which is really nice. Managed to forage our bits and we've got them in a little tote back here. So the plan is we're gonna wash them when we get back, dry them out, and then I'll show you, hopefully, the end result if it works out. If it doesn't, then it's nice to get something to and maybe so did you. So we're back from our walk and we've got the twigs, well, sticks that we found in the park and we've dried them out on some newspaper and I'm going to show you what we're going to try and attempt to do. Zara's made some mulled wine for us as well so we've got this to keep us nice and warm. And so these are the sticks that we found. I just need to trim this one ever so slightly but we got some of this in Poundland on the way back to our flat. It's chalk finished furniture, uh, furniture paint? <laughs> furniture paint and an antique white so we're going to spray this outside um, and then we're going to string them together using a bit of a drill through to make kind of like a tree and then these are going to be the star of the show these are from a lovely brand called Nkuku um, they're sent over from my auntie and uncle she loves this store I'll link them down below they're these like gold metal hanging things so we're basically going to hang them off of the tree down 
and that's going to be it finished. Yeah. Oh, yes. This is basically the inspiration. So if we can resemble something like this, then we're winning. Come on, camera. There we go. So I've attached a three millimeter drill bit onto the end of the drill. And what I'm going to do is just use that to just drill through the sticks, being really careful. I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably not going to work, but I hope it does. Um, and then we're going to do it through all of those to tie them together. So we have just drilled five holes through these twigs and then left a piece of string up there. So we're going to tie another piece of string essentially through this part with five holes and then it is ready to spray with that white chalk paint. That easy. Okay, so all I did was basically drill symmetrical holes on the other side of the twigs and then fed a piece of string through and then just tied it at the top. So that's pretty much the wooden tree, which I think looks so cool. I really love it. So follow me. If you follow me, oh. This is gonna be essentially the third Christmas tree we have in this house. <laughs> so like how many Christmas trees does one house will need? Anyway, was it that way we had it? Oh, I think yeah. it was the other way. So what we're gonna do is tack it up there and then um, this is gonna be our welcome tree. It's and so cute. Obviously we need to spray it with the white paint and then we're gonna decorate it. Love it. And the oranges yeah. will match the orange in. And, then, and this. Gorgeous. Okay, so we've just sprayed it outside and just I did it like really from a far distance So I didn't want to cover the twigs too much, but if I show you it from an angle, I think it looks great All Right time to decorate but everything would change from now on. Yes There we have it, one DIY bauble Scandi tree. I really love that, well done Zara. I think it's kind of worked out really well. Bit of Poundland, bit of foraging, and some things we already had. These decorations, I absolutely love them and they catch the light so well when we turn the light off. Look at that, amazing. Right, I'm officially ending the first Vlogmas video. The tree is done. I felt very emotional earlier. Yeah, Zara got fought with me. I was just sat on the chair, on the sofa, and I was like, I just love it. Like, I actually genuinely do love it so, so much. I really hope you do as well. If you put your tree up already, if you haven't, have a lovely time when you do it, and just fully enjoy the fact that you can take control of that festive spirit and nothing else can stop it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, as always, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Plenty more videos from myself and Zara coming very soon, and I'll catch you all in another video coming probably tomorrow. <laughs> Bye for now.